Hi everyone, it's me, Plantine Charlene, and today's video will be about my small ficus collection. So as always, I want to give a shout out to all of the people who have subscribed to my channel, watched my videos, liked, commented, shared, or clicked the bell to know when a new video is posted. I appreciate you all. Thank you. So the first ficus I want to share with you guys is going to be my plant that's been with me the longest. Wow, it's been like five or six years since I purchased it. And I believe I ordered it online from Home Depot. And it arrived looking beautiful. I don't have that video anymore, but let's get to seeing this plant. I had to lift this plant up because it is in a nine inch pot and it's not looking the happiest, right? Let's do an overview so you guys can see what the plant looks like and where it lives in my home. So from this video, you can see that it's pretty tall. When it arrived originally, it had two stems and now it only currently has one stem. Over time, when it first arrived, the leaves started to drop pretty quickly. Now, this is my third fiddle leaf fig, and the third time is the only time I was able to keep the plant. As sad as it looks, this is still impressive to me because I still have it. As I said, it only has one stem left, and there are five leaves left on that one stem. It doesn't push out that many stems for me, sorry, leaves for me each year. But this year, sorry, we're in 2021 now, right? 2020, it pushed out two leaves at one time, and then at another time, two weeks or so after, it pushed out another two leaves. So out of these five leaves, four of them are the newest leaves that I have. And um, the plant sits in my living room receiving morning sun. I know that ficuses can be, or at least fiddle leaf figs, can be very finicky. Like when you find the happy place for it, don't move it because it will go through some little diva type changes. And I started to notch this plant for the second time. I originally notched it about two years ago. I got nothing. And I decided to notch again this year. Being that I had no success the first time, I wanted to try again for this year and I think that um, if there's no success again I'll just leave it alone I'm very tempted but still scared to cut off the top leaf and or the top of the stem and root it in water and give it um, some a chance to maybe push out the new stems that way because I cut off the top of it but if I do that, it won't be until the spring, maybe the beginning of spring, late spring maybe, somewhere in the spring season. This fiddle leaf fig has seen some better days, and I'm hoping that I will be able to get it back to a bushier stage. Now, the thing about fiddle leaf figs, I am torn between which I prefer, the bushy or the one long stem with a kind of a tree kind of a feel where it's bushy just at the top with that super long stem. I've seen them both and I really can't tell which one I would prefer, but I, I think I'd be happy either way. So if it should not uh, be successful for notching it, I'm okay with that. By the way, to explain what notching is, notching basically is you would take your plant and I'm going to show you guys you take your plant and you see this here this is an area where a, a stem once was so and you see there's one here and pretty much a little below above it and I'll come in on this closer but a little above it you want to get yourself a nice sharp knife or scissor or razor something that will cut into it make sure it's sterilized and please be safe when handling this because you do not want to cut yourself and you're going to put a cut into that 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 trunk that thick hard stem 
uh, for the plan. If you do it correctly, you'll see that there's like milky sap that comes out. That's a good sign. You don't want to cut this off. You just want to be very careful as you're kind of putting the cut into the into the chunk of the, the plant. And once you see that milky sap coming out easily, you're good. Over time, <clears throat> excuse me, over time, you should see a new branch come out. Now again, I've notched before, I'm notching again. I wasn't successful the first time, I'm hoping I'll be successful this time. Notching, I'm not sure if it matters what time of year you do it, as in the season, but when I, I don't remember what the season was before, but this time I'm doing it during the winter, so we'll see what happens, so that's my fiddle leaf fig and come on guys help me out and put out positive energy into the universe that the notching will work and i will have the kind of fiddle leaf fig that i I'm, i know he can be <laughs> my second ficus that i'm going to show you guys is a bit pitiful looking and that is my ficus triangularis now i purchased this last year from um, this is a black owned business and I can't remember the name I think it's it's not my oh Tennessee tropicals I'll put the information below the um, the video and you'll see that this this plant it doesn't it kind of speak for itself it really was bushy and full and exciting and and new the love boat sorry anyway it really was and if you look I have this one stem left there were stems galore when I received it so it was nice and full and now it lives under a grow light that grow light has caused this to happen this there's new growth here you see it is green sorry for my shaky hand and I'm hoping that come the springtime, this plant will start to push out a whole lot of new leaves because I do see that some growth is happening even though we're still in winter. And I forgot, I remember. The reason why it lost all its leaves, because the thing about this plant, if you're not giving it the right amount of life, the leaves will drop. So I purchased the Sansi Grow Light prior and saw the success of having that on some other plants I knew that I had to get myself a second Sansi Grow Light and it was a success again because again this little cluster here that's new so yay. I did recently water this plant but this plant does not like to dry out too often well, period actually you should keep the soil on this plant moist and as most plants do not overwater because you will drown these roots cause root rot and the plant will die temperature this plant likes it pretty warm not hot anywhere from about 65 to 75 degrees will be ideal for this plant fertilizer you can feed it a liquid fertilizer or or worm castings and stuff like that. You can fertilize this plant during the growing season, which is spring through summer. I'd even go into early fall, depending on the temperatures. Now, it is suggested to trim this plant for the shape that you want it to keep. With that being said, be careful because this plant does give off a clear type of sap and that could be irritating to your skin. Remember to wear gloves. This plant does have uh, a poisonous toxicity, so that be very careful about this plant being around your small children or any type of pet. Right. This plant can grow nice and big. A lot of big. Six feet if you do it right. Like, care for it right, give it the proper conditions. It'll grow super tall and super fast. So there it is. Obviously, I'm not giving it the right conditions. <laughs> it's not tall. It's dropped a lot of leaves, but don't judge me. Another thing that the ficus triangularis will let you know, 
when the leaves are turning yellow, that means it needs more water. My next plant is my Ficus Altissima variegata. Now, I know I said that it's a variegated plant, but I don't see any variegation. Do you guys see it? Or is it that I need for the plant to mature a little bit more before I start talking about variegation? I'm new to this plant. What I really like about it is the color of the leaves. It slightly reminds me of lemon lime or um, neon. The neon pothos in the lemon lime um, philodendron. I think it was crazy plant guy who um, purchased this plant that made me take a different look at it because I knew that I have other ficuses in my home that are similar to this, which is the ficus taniki and the, um, being that I'm kind of new to this one, I'm not sure if the care for it's the same when it comes to light, water, propagation, fertilizer, yada yada. So what I am going to do is read what I know about this plant. It says allow the top two to three inches to dry out, then water thoroughly and then but water less during the winter humidity it can handle average household humidity but wouldn't mind a boost in the humidity levels let's talk about the light for this plant as i said already there's not much variegation going on on the leaves it just looks like a lime green or neon green kind of color With the proper light that i give it um, which I'm assuming because it's a variegated uh, plant, it's going to need a little bit more bright and direct light. So then I'll start to see, and I'll put a picture wherever it lands, um, showing one that has more of, of the var variegation in its leaves because mine is not necessarily the uh, best option to show a plant that's variegated when it's all one color. Watering this plant, you do want the first two inches or so you know we say two three inches but what if your pot is not that big right so this is in a four inch pot so I'm gonna say no more than half way down on this pot the soil should be dry and then water it flush it out let it go through the, the uh, draining holes and then put it back and let it what be uh, let it marinate and then when it gets dry halfway through then water it again propagation I really don't know I will put any kind of information about propagating this plant that I find on here but if you don't see anything that means I didn't find anything so the next plant I want to talk about I'm gonna do an overview and give you guys some information on this plant because it too doesn't look good and it's funny because I really really love a good variegated leaf and I really love the way this plant looks so okay so here is my ficus benjamina benjamina variegata it looks so sad so so sad <laughs> and I refuse to get it gone I'm not gonna get her done I refuse to toss her because there's areas like this that are making comebacks so this was just as sparse as that at one point and now it's much fuller and um, this plant is just really beautiful to me and I believe it's gonna come back I'm gonna wait till the spring I'm seeing new growth in different areas throughout the plant and I just I don't want to give up on it I'm wondering if that's a mealy bug right there which I will have to kill so as you see it does need a lot of help but I'm not going to give up on it because again there's new growth there's two there there's one there 
and one there. So with time, this plant, I believe, come this spring, will look great again. I'm gonna have to cut off these dead stems though so that it won't put any energy in trying to bring that back. All right. Cross your fingers, guys, like me. Cross your fingers for my plant. Oh, look at my hands. Now, this plant has gone through some changes, so I'm gonna show you a little bit of what's going on. So I had to move my other plants before I brought this one over, but here are two sad-looking leaves from my ficus tanniki. And if I don't know any better, that looks like a mealybug crawling up, or at least maybe trying to stand still like I don't see it on, the, on this thing. Let me go wash this off. Actually, it was not a mealybug, and I should have known because I didn't freak out. But I did wash it off just in case. Anywho, so here are two sad-looking leaves from my ficus tanniki. These are two of the original leaves when I first ordered this plant. I think from Home Depot. I think I ordered it when I got the... No. I watched a video regarding how to get the leaves to root. So you would take a healthy leaf. Clearly that's not what I did. You can either propagate in water or you can propagate in soil. Since I've propagated this, I found the mealybug on the leaf. And I will show you guys in a video here where there's clearly a mealybug on here and I have since cleaned it um, I don't know if this will be a success but I said why not try all of the original leaves were falling off and I decided to take the last two of the original leaves and um, do this with it I'm gonna give you guys an overview of the plant because it does have some kind of mealybug still hanging around. I still kept it in its original spot. I'm not seeing them anywhere else. I don't have a place to put it right now where it could actually still thrive and it's still pushing out new leaves and they are clearly a lot smaller than the, um, the leaves from the original, when the plant originally arrived to me about four years ago and um, I am definitely going to cut this plant down come the spring because you can see that like my fiddle leaf fig it has one long stem it I think it originally always came with the one long stem but I could be wrong and all of the leaves are at the top so I am going to chop this down I'm going to notch this plant as well and I am going to cross my fingers and hope that I get new stems or branches coming out in other places on the plant. I have high hopes for this plant and I believe that it can be successful as long as I do what I need to do. And I'm hoping really, really hard that it's successful. I'm hoping I can get the leaves to get to this size again. I think I'm going to need to put it under a grow light of some sort because the morning sun is not doing it and I can't put it in the bedroom because there's no space. That is my ficus tanniki. I, I don't, I'm not going to go over the watering and the fertilizer and stuff like that because these are all pretty much same care. So you want to kind of follow the rules for the watering, the lighting, the soil, and the fertilizer. Okay, so my next ficus or rubber tree, I noticed that I wasn't calling it a rubber tree because the tanniki, the altissima, and this next one, which is the burgundy, are rubber trees. What I'm not clear on, are all rubber trees ficuses and all ficuses rubber trees? All of them are not rubber trees. Anyway, the burgundy, sad, pitiful, leaves look crazy. We'll show you the overview. This plant arrived about five, six years ago, whatever the years are. Same time I got the, the my fiddly fig. 
it too was beautiful it was full it was lush the leaves were nice and big I thought I was a professional I followed a video regarding propagating this plant not a smart idea it went horribly wrong what I remember from the instructions you take a cutting it can have five leaves on that cutting you're going to remove the bottom leaves where you cut is going to be below the node remove the bottom leaves leave at least two leaves I believe on that cutting stick that cutting in soil cut the leaves in half okay not the long way but the wide way from left to right put that pot in a bag not a white bag it had to be a dark color bag because you didn't want the plant getting any kind of sunlight so it needed to be in a low light area and just leave it make sure none of the leaves were touching the bag epic fail everything died my plant did push out new stems or new branches so that's a plus look at the plant today I wish I had what it looked like prior to the debacle I created this end has not been the same since it really hasn't I tried giving it more light I tried repotting it I gave it fertilizer not immediately down the line once I saw new branches and leaves were growing I noticed that the leaves were so much smaller than the original leaves Leaves were about the same size as the, the Taniki's leaves. Taniki's leaves. <laughs> anyway, now they're not even half the size that they were before. And I don't know if I should even keep the plant. I will keep the plant. I'm not going to do anything to him. It wasn't his fault or her. I don't know if it's a him or her. Anyway, this is what... The plant looks like now and I'm disappointed in myself but I can't give up on this plant as I think about it this plant is not giving up on itself I'm not gonna give up on the plant I'm the one who caused the damage I have to stand by that and be responsible accountability something that needs to be shared in this world right now anywho I'm gonna try my best to make this plant be what it used to be if not better and get these leaves to grow larger and you know I don't know help me I'm not sure if you guys noticed that it is under a grow light um, this grow light has the white and red spectrum um, I believe it's full spec spectrum as well so I know we're in the winter I'm not going to do anything to this plant during this time of year and therefore I'm going to wait to see what happens in the spring hopefully I'll be able to come back to you guys with a follow-up video that shows that this plant is thriving everything I said I was going to do which is up here I did and voila it worked all right so that is it that are that are that is all of my ficuses if I missed one, oh, I did have one that passed away. I'll give a quick shout out to my ficus bellus creeping fig. I'll put the link up above so you guys can see the video. That one was a beauty. Quick moment of silence. So seriously, now it is the end of this video. Guys, if you haven't subscribed, liked, commented, click the bell to know when a new video is posted or shared any of my videos why not today so I hope you liked what you saw I hope you enjoyed please put any comments below let me know what I'm doing wrong let me know what I'm doing right did you own one of these plants if you did or if you do let me know how is yours doing whatever it is just you know talk talk to me below I love commenting back on that note, I'm going to say thank you. Everybody, please stay safe. Please stay healthy. God bless you all. And keep planting.
bye bye